boomed. Megan got bedeviled as Piers Morgan's rant about her true face tops TV moment of the year. Piers Morgan has paid thanks to Meghan Markle after his rant on Good Morning Britain about her was top of Ofcom's complaints list for 2021. Piers Morgan has said he is delighted to have been the subject of the most complained about TV moment in the UK in 2021. Ofcom, the British media watchdog, has released an overview of the year and the controversial presenter storming off the set of Good Morning Britain was officially the thing that the viewing public found most upsetting. The infamous moment occurred after Morgan's remarks about Meghan Markle following her interview with Oprah Winfrey alongside her husband Prince Harry. Morgan was complaining about the explosive interview in which the Duchess of Sussex spoke about racism in the royal family, when co-host Alex Beresford called him out. He stormed off the set and then quit as an anchor just days later. According to Ofcom, 54,000 people complained about this incident. The Oprah interview itself was the fourth most complained about TV moment in the UK this year, with 6,486 complaints from the public. Morgan has responded to the Ofcom results and joked that he is happy with topping the list. Piers took Twitter to share his happiness and used it as another opportunity to take a dig at the Duchess of Sussex as he hailed his most complained moment. Delighted to have perpetrated the most complained about moment on UK TV for 2021. Especially because every single one of the absurd complaints was rejected, Morgan tweeted. Thanks Princess Pinocchio. At the time, Morgan questioned Markle's claims about feeling suicidal while working as a member of the royal family. He was later cleared by Ofcom after they determined that he did not breach the broadcasting code. The judgments we make each day are often finely balanced, such as our highest profile case this year. Piers Morgan's comments on Good Morning Britain in the wake of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's interview with Oprah Winfrey, Adam Baxter, director, Standards and Audience Protection at Ofcom said in a statement. But, given the importance of the right to freedom of expression, we only step in or take action against a broadcaster when we consider it necessary. Baxter added, This year we concluded 33 investigations and recorded 20 breaches of our rules. Many of these cases were about hate speech or harmful, scientifically unfounded coronavirus misinformation. Piers quit the ITV breakfast news show following the complaints about remarks he made about Meghan and the interview, as he rubbished her claims about her mental health and that she had had suicidal thoughts. In July this year, Morgan admitted it was gutless and cowardly to storm off the Good Morning Britain set. But here's the thing, they were right, and I was wrong. It was gutless and cowardly of me to walk off. If you're going to dish it out, then you've got to take the heat when it flies back at you which is why I went back and finished the discussion with my co-worker, he wrote in his Daily Mail column. Back in September, Piers spoke out about Meghan, six months after he'd called it quits as host of Good Morning Britain. Speaking to the Mirror about what the Duchess would think about him winning an award for his broadcasting career, the journalist said, who cares? Honestly, she's been great for my career to be honest with you. I really want to thank her, the presenter concluded. However, Although Piers Rant has topped their list, earlier this year Ofcom announced they were going to drop the case. After the broadcasting watchdog said their decision was finely balanced, Piers reacted to the ruling and took to Twitter to share his thoughts. The presenter wrote, I'm delighted Ofcom has endorsed my right to disbelieve the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's incendiary claims to Oprah Winfrey, many of which have proven to be untrue. This is a resounding victory for free speech and a resounding defeat for Princess Pinocchio's. Do I get my job back, Pinocchio's?